goes on in this country is just beyond belief to me. Thousands, writes the New York Post, of kids who crossed illegally into the United States will hit the jackpot when their expedited cases begin coming before New York City immigration judges who are the most lenient in the country. Yeah, these immigration judges are appointed by liberal politicians like the Attorney General. Hey, La Raza, you have any, uh, any folks? Hey, uh, you want on the bench? Lulak, how about you? And so forth and so on. The first judge assigned to the so-called surge docket is Frank Loprest, an Obama administration pick who grants asylum in 88% of the cases before him. The national average is 50%. Only five other judges in the nation have a more generous asylum record, and they're all Loprest's New York City colleagues. And all the immigration court in New York City has granted nearly 80% of asylum seekers' requests since 2009, compared to 40% in L.A. and 30% in Houston. They're very emphatic. Naomi Mashlaya, a New York immigration attorney, said to the city's judges, they listen carefully to the evidence, as as if they feel like they're saving a life when they grant cases. For immigrants seeking relief, their fate appears to hinge on one American adage, location, location, location. Ah, boy. Just as... Some days it's just too much, isn't it? It really is. Someday, Mr. Producer said to Meyer, yeah, man, well, yeah, it's true.